welcome to GCC Kids Connection. We are so glad that you have joined us today. We have so much in store for you, but most importantly, you're going to make a stronger connection with Jesus Christ. We always want to start with a prayer connection. Concentrate on God, clap your hands, bow your head, and close your eyes. Repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you for waking me up this morning. Thank you for loving me. Help me to love you more each day. Help me to get a closer connection with you in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember to always have a prayer connection every day. Now it's time to celebrate every child who has a birthday this month. If that's you, get up and get ready to do your birthday dance. Here we go. Happy birthday to you. Jesus loves you. Happy birthday. Kids Connection! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday from Kids Connection! Today's memory verse is Corinthian, 1 Corinthians 13 13. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. 1 Corinthians 13, 13. The GCC Kids Connection theme for this month is love. We are going to learn about what love is and how to love others. God wants us to love our neighbors even as we love ourselves. God even wants us to love our enemies. Really? God wants us to love everyone. And we can only do that if we have God's love. God is love. Today's lesson comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 13. A man named Paul wrote a letter to the people of Corinth. God had given Corinth many gifts. Not gifts that you put under a Christmas tree, but talent. All these gifts were given by God's Spirit to God's people so that they can help each other become better Christians. These gifts were all quite different. Some people had the gift of being wise, while others had the knowledge of God's word. Some people had great faith, and others could heal the sick. Again, all these gifts came from God's spirit. The people in Corinth started to think, hmm, what gift is more important? They started to forget that all of the gifts were important and all of them were needed. No person or gift was better than the other. There are many gifts in God's church. Paul let the people know that it is okay to want a certain gift. Paul told the people that the best thing to want is love. You could have a wonderful gift, 
but it will mean nothing without love. They could give all their money to the poor or have enough faith to move a mountain. Still, without love, those gifts mean nothing. We are nothing without love. Paul tells the people that love is kind, love is patient, love is not jealous, it does not brag, love is not nasty, it does not get angry easily, it does not think evil thoughts, love does not like sin, it believes all things true. Love believeth all things, hopeth all things, love never fails. Let the people know that the greatest thing is love. He did not want the people arguing over who had the best gift. He wanted them to concentrate on loving God and loving each other. Who wrote the letter to the people in Corinth? What were the people in Corinth arguing about? Hmm. What gift is most important? What is a gift? Hmm. A gift is a talent to help and make others better. All gifts are important, but where do all gifts come from? Hmm. God. Jesus wants you to know what love is so that you can love others. And now that you know what love is, before you do or say anything, make sure that you do and say it in love. God has given everyone a special gift to help and to bless others. So, remember, everyone is important. So share your gifts with everyone to show God's love. God is love.
someone in your home that they are very important and that you love them. I guarantee that it'll make them feel so much better. We are about to start our 30 second countdown. One, two, three, go! Let's make another prayer connection with God. Dear God, thank you so much for loving me. Thank you so much for letting me learn about you. Help me to be kind. Help me to be patient. Help me to love others like I love myself. Help me to even love my enemies. Thank you so much for loving me. I love you. Amen. Thank you so much for joining GCC Kids Connection. We hope you had a wonderful time. We hope you know that Jesus loves you. In fact, Jesus loves everybody. We are so glad that you connected with us today. But most importantly, we are so glad that you made a stronger connection with Jesus Christ. If you want to join us at GCC Kids Connection face-to-face -face Zoom room, please have your parents email us at the address below. We can't wait to see you. Have a wonderful day and keep making a stronger connection with Jesus Christ.